Hello, this is Mary Roddy from Charing Cross Hospital in London and the UK Osarix User Group. This is a video to explain how you can make a change to a free 64-bit DICOM viewer called Horos if you find that you're having trouble continuing your teaching activities using Osarix Lite. Osarix Lite has become increasingly difficult to use for teaching recently. The advantage is that it's free, but it's only available now as a trial and is unable to open large data sets, that's cases with more than 500 images. And there is a constant um, advertising to buy the MD version, which is very expensive for UK teaching radiologists at uh, $699 a time. An alternative DICOM viewer is Horos. This is available at the website I've shown you here, www.horosproject.org. You can make a donation when you download it, and you'll find it's very similar to Osirix. It's sponsored by a company called Purview, who sell cloud storage for imaging purposes. So how do you make the change from Osirix to Horos? Well, the first thing to do is to download Horos from the site. Here's the address that I've shown you. And as I mentioned before, it is possible to make a donation to continue to support this company. Once you've downloaded Horos in a similar way to the way you are used to for downloading Osirix, it will remember your Osirix preferences. And if you have several Osirix databases containing different teaching sets, you'll still be able to open these uh, databases, but they will not appear to have any cases within them, which is very alarming when it happens. Happily, there is a solution, and that's what I'm going to show you now. The first thing you need to do is to find your Osirix databases, and these will be typically located in the Documents folder of your computer, or you may have chosen to store them in an external hard drive. So you find these databases, copy them, and then paste them to a new location. Then open the database folder and what you'll see, as is usual in an Osirix database, is a folder called Osirix Data. And all you need to do is edit the Osirix word in that header to Horos. So when you open the folder you'll see Osirix Data, you highlight the word Osirix and then write in Horos and then close the database again. You then need to close and reopen Horos. And if you then go to the file menu at the top, open the database folder and select the desired database that you've just edited. Once you open it, you should now be able to see all your cases. So let's see how to do this in real time. I'll open up my Osirix. I'm using MD at the moment, and you can see here that I've highlighted one of my FRCR teaching sets. Now, if I want to find that database, I have this located on an external hard drive. So what I'll do is close Osirix, and then find the database folder, which will be in my external hard drive. And there's the database that I want to copy. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it onto my desktop. Now if I open Horos and try to open that database folder by finding it on my desktop, You'll see that although you can see that folder in the list of sources, you can't see any cases. So having closed Horos again, I need to go to that database, open it up, 
find the folder labeled OSIRIX data, get rid of the word OSIRIX and write in HOROS and then close it again. So having opened HOROS again, I need to go to the file menu, new database folder, find the new FRCR set one database and create a folder. Now we'll get this error message saying Horos cannot understand the model of current saved database. All you need to do is say OK and voila, there are all your cases. Much relief all round. Final thing to mention is that the way we get rid of visualized databases on Horos is a little bit different from the latest version of Asarix where you right click and get asked whether you want to remove that database or not. Um, the way to do that if you don't want that to be seen is to go to the preferences and go to locations and there you will see your uh, FRCR1 set. All you need to do is backspace on the computer and OK and that will disappear and then that teaching database won't be visible. So in summary this video has explained how to transfer your existing OSIRIX teaching databases into HOROS so that you can get ready for all the FRCR preparation courses that are coming up and all the regular departmental teaching that I know everyone does. Thank you very much.